In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you, you can get back on KuCoin as a resident of the United States. Make sure you watch this video to the very end because at the very end of this video, I'm going to show you a tip that's very important in helping you preserve the life of your KuCoin account. So as you may or may not know, a few months ago, KuCoin made it a requirement that all users go through the KYC process. They also decided to leave the U.S. market alone due to unclear regulations surrounding the cryptocurrency space. Now, even before the KYC requirement, U.S. residents were not supposed to be using the KuCoin exchange. But you could easily use KuCoin as long as you created your KuCoin account using NordVPN and setting your location to either Germany or Spain. Now, when you set your location to Germany or Spain inside NordVPN, you want to make sure that you also set the location inside your KuCoin account to either Germany or Spain. You want to make sure that the country matches your account. This allowed someone in the United States to transact on a KuCoin exchange with a daily transaction limit of two Bitcoin, which for most people is plenty. But as I mentioned earlier, it is now a requirement for pretty much most cryptocurrency exchanges, not just KuCoin, Binance, uh, OKCoin, any cryptocurrency exchange that is not allowing U.S. residents to use their exchange. It is now required that you go through the KYC process. Now, the simple solution is to get an ID from a country that is cryptocurrency friendly. And I know you might be thinking, well, that's going to be very difficult because I don't live in the country that is cryptocurrency friendly. I live in the United States, but keep watching because we're going to go over a solution in this video right now. So let's go ahead and get started. I must warn you, this solution is not free. So if you're looking for a method that is free, this video is not for you. You might as well just close the video up now and go watch something else. Now, with that said, this method is not very expensive at all and it's super easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is go to the description box down below and click on the link that says get your ID here. Now that link will take you to this website right here where you can legally, yes, legally, 100% legally, get yourself an ID from another country and use the KuCoin exchange or a lot of other cryptocurrency exchanges. You can use this ID from the Republic of Palau right here on this website to use many, many different cryptocurrency exchanges that don't allow US residents, not just KuCoin. So let's go through the process together. When you click the link down below in the description, it's going to bring you to this page right here, Digital Residency Program. That's what we're signing up for. Identity Verification, KYC, 180 days stay per entry. So if you decide to visit the Republic of Palau, you can stay there for up to 180 days using this identification that we're going to get from the Republic of Palau. It's only $248 to get this ID. So we're going to click this button right here where we want to apply. It's going to ask us to either sign up for an account or log into our account. So let's click this button. And for some reason, it is not doing anything right now. Let's try this. Let's try the sign in button. So if you have already created your account, then you will click the sign in button. If you have not created your account, then this is where you need to go. You need to go right here at the bottom where it says sign up. So you're going to click sign up. I already have an account, so I am going to simply sign in. I'm going to sign into my account using Google. So once you have created your account and you've signed in, this is the screen you should be greeted with. You should see this screen right here. Palau ID. We're going to click the button that says get it now. It's going to open up another window and this is where it's going to take us and we are going to buy. We don't want to buy the five year. Well, it's totally up to you. You can buy the five year ID. It's up to you. It's it's 100% your choice, but we are going to do the one year trial version, which is only $248, which is very reasonably priced and affordable for most people, especially if you're transacting in cryptocurrencies, you're trading cryptocurrencies, $248 is probably nothing to you. So we're going to hit the buy now button. Follow the process. You can pay with cryptocurrency. You can pay with the credit card or you can pay with your account balance if you happen to have some money on this account where you connected your wallet right here. Connect your wallet or whatever. But all right. So congratulations. Purchase successful. Your payment has been successfully processed. You can now proceed to the application page to complete the necessary information and submit your application for Palau ID. So now we are going to go to the start application process. You can read through this right here on your own time. I'm just going to say we got it because we don't want this video to be too long. So the next step is to upload a photo that will be used for the Palau digital ID. The photo needs to be framed almost exactly as you see described right here. Keep a neutral facial expression, no hats, no scarves or anything like that on your head. Make sure you take a photo that is in a well lit area and have the background be white or some type of color that is very close to white. You can alternatively just remove the background from your photo with a photo editing app if you don't have any place to take the picture that has a light colored background. 
After you have successfully uploaded your Palau ID photo, you will need to provide some more personal information that will appear on your Palau ID. So make sure that it matches the information that is on your driver's license. Variations at this point can lead to delays in processing your order. So let's try and get it correct the first time as it will take at least a couple of weeks to receive the physical copy of your Palau digital ID. Now I did speak with customer service about doing KYC with the digital version of the Palau ID, which you will store in your MetaMask wallet or any of the wallets that are suggested here on their website. Customer service told me that I can get KYC done on some exchanges using the digital version of my Palau ID that I keep stored in my MetaMask wallet. But personally, I decided not to mess around with any of that and just waited for the physical copy to arrive in the mail. What you do is entirely up to you, but I feel like the process is just more straightforward having the physical copy of my ID on hand before attempting any KYC on any exchange that I wish to use. And if for some reason the digital version is not accepted by the exchange, there may be a possibility that I won't get a second chance to complete the KYC process. So I decided to play it safe and just wait for the ID to arrive in the mail. So remember at the beginning of the video when I told you guys to stick around to the end of the video, I have a tip that will help you preserve the life of your KuCoin account or any exchange for that matter. It doesn't have to be KuCoin, it could be any exchange. So when transacting in cryptocurrencies, you want to stay safe. There's a lot of hackers out there. There's a lot of unscrupulous people that would love to get their hands on a cryptocurrency. And if you just happen to have a virus of some sort on your computer, then your data is probably being sent over to some hacker, some dude that's just definitely don't have your best interests at heart. So the best way to combat that would be to use a vpn now not only using a vpn will help protect you from you know unsavory characters but it's probably a good idea to not have your ip address on the exchange that you just used to pull out id to register with you might not want to have that ip address showing up as a united states ip address it could raise some red flags it could raise some triggers and cause a further investigation into your account we don't need anybody snooping around into our account the best way to avoid this would be to log into your your account be it KuCoin, Binance or any of the other exchanges that you use your pull out digital ID to register with log in using a VPN from a country that is not the United States Indonesia is available on NordVPN you can find the link down below in the description to NordVPN that's the VPN that I use that's the VPN that I've been having the most success with but you can log in as um, a resident of Indonesia you can change it by simply searching right here And then you can connect to Jakarta, Indonesia. Indonesia is a pretty close country to Palau. It would make a little bit more sense that you're logging into your KuCoin account or any cryptocurrency exchange account from a country that's pretty close by, unlike the United States, which is not really that close to Palau. So that's the tip, but let's continue on. So if you go to KuCoin.com, you go to their website, using your ip address that's in the united states without a vpn you will receive this warning here it says based on your ip address we currently do not provide service in your country or region due to local laws regulations or policies we apologize for any inconvenience this may come may have caused the fact that we got that warning when we logged into KuCoin or we went to KuCoin's website tells me that there's a possibility that logging in with the United States IP address can trigger some eyeballs on your account and we don't need any eyeballs on our account. We're not doing anything illegal because we did register with KuCoin using our Palau ID. And one other tip I need to add, when you're registering with KuCoin using the Palau ID, the first time you register the automatic authentication, the automatic ID verification um, will more than likely fail. It failed for me so all you have to do is hit the retry button now when you retry you're going to upload it again and then it's going to go into a manual review status so if it fails the first time upload the information again it's going to go into manual review and the manual review will take a few hours it says it only takes about five minutes but for me it took a few hours but it did successfully complete let me show you what we have here we are connected to jakarta indonesia jakarta and that is my current ip address right now using the vpn the nord vpn so let us go to kucoin now would you look at that? We do not have that notification at the top telling us that our IP address is not good because we're in the United States. We're in Indonesia as far as they know. But again, we're not doing anything illegal here. We have registered using our Palau ID, which is completely legal, 100% legitimate. We sent it to them. They looked at it, they investigated, and they determined that we're eligible to be verified on their exchange. That is entirely up to them. We didn't do anything illegal here. Now, we're going to log in. Well, I'm going to log in because you haven't received your Palau ID yet. I have, and I verified on KuCoin, and I'm in the United States, but right now, we have no issues using this exchange, and I'm going to prove 
prove that to you by logging into my KuCoin account and you will see that I have full access and everything is 100% verified. So let me log in right now. All right, as you can see, I've successfully logged in. Identity verification, it says verified. Security, it says hi, enabled, enabled, enabled. Verify identity verification. Let's go and click on the identity verification tab so you can see. You now have full access to all of KuCoin's features and are in the highest tier for transaction limits. You see that right there? Verified. Verified. Right there. Verified. Withdrawals. 999,999 USDT. Peer to peer transactions. 500,000. Trading. Check. Deposit slash crypto purchases. Check. KuCoin earn. Check. Futures leverage up to 125x. As you can see, there are absolutely no limitations on my account after I have performed the verification process using the Palau digital ID, which I just explained to you in this video how to get. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.